All right, so I told y'all I was going to send a video to psychiatrists and people in school studying psychology because Tyree is the craziest, most bipolar, most schizophrenic, most paranoid schizophrenic, most narcissistic, most... I just... He's the weirdest person I've ever seen, like, in person or online. And I'm going to give them several videos for them to study because I believe he deserves his own, like, type of mental illness named after him. That's how uniquely crazy he is. So watch how he goes from being a beta cuck crying for Ashley, who doesn't really want him, who trolls him on a daily basis. It's freaking hilarious. To him threatening to kill El Frost Vivo, like on live. And no wonder why this video is age restricted. Let me tell you something, Mr. Joseph Tyree Sneed. You'll never, ever get a YouTube check for several reasons. Number one, you always play copywritten content in your videos. So if you ever, by the stroke of the luck of many freaking four leaf clovers that you ever get monetized. You'll never get money because the money will go to the content holders. Number one, number two, you'll always get your channel struck down for copyright since you're always stealing beats, which your dumb age just said, Oh, rap is the music of thieves. All rap artists steal beats. Let's see. You will never, if any one of your trash, horrible songs ever went viral you'll still not get any money from it because the content the producer that made the beat will just sue you so any money you make from it will go back to him like don't you get it how are you a production label when everything you have is stolen and you'll never make money from it but you're encouraging people to sign with your label which they'll get no advance because you're broke who would want to be with somebody who doesn't even register their business and your business doesn't make money, so stop calling it that. It's a hobby. But I'm not even really going in on you like I want to. I just want to let you know that every time we flag your video, it's going to be age-restricted. So like I said, if you ever, by the stroke of luck or the stroke of your cock, get monetized, then you won't get paid because age-restricted videos cannot have ads on them. Don't you get it? We will forever stop your money. We don't want to stop your freedom of speech. We just want you to know that everything that you do has a consequence. And if you choose to go out and spew the N-word and act like you're going to kill people and threaten to kill Ashley and all of us and random people that you don't know all the time, well, sure, you're entitled to speak your mind, but you're also entitled to the backlash. And this, my boy, is backlash. All right. See, make a change. There you go. That's the name of a real YouTube channel. Now watch how bipolar he is. He goes from big upping this YouTuber, whoever they are, to just literally going off on the Frost for absolutely no reason. Well, that's the way this platform should be about building people up, about exposing frauds and fakes and clowns. Well, that's what Haters Inc. does. They expose you because you're a fraud, a fake, and a clown. As if you think no real people can ever get to my content because you just keep polluting it with your bullshit, which is why I'm cutting that off and putting a stop to it. Like, real people have always supported me, bro. Every Boy, every single mod you've ever had has been a troll. You can't possibly spew the things that you spew and think that actual normal people is going to be okay with that. One will love my shit, love me, and love my music. Period. And first of all, if you were a normal, decent person... That's how I still know you're crazy because everybody is not going to like you. And by you, I mean people in general. There is not such thing as people liking every single thing you do unless they're a kiss -a. And then that's disingenuous. You probably don't know what that word means. That's not genuine, sir. You probably don't know what that means. That's not realistic, sir. It's that simple. Ashley should have never had nothing to do with you negative little fucks. She, she'll do herself a service the minute she gets the fuck away from you. Now, notice how he switches from talking about this YouTuber. Oh, I support their channel. They're speaking real to talking about Ashley. No segue whatsoever. He literally, like I said, I would hate to be in his brain because it's scattered. It's a thought here, a thought there. A, like bipolar slash ADHD slash ADD to the max.
and is with me. You know what I mean? And she'll be happy. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't nothing but real fucking love, bro. And that's all it is with her. Like, it always will be. I, I, I love her. You know what I mean? That's the truth. Lies. You threaten to kill her. You threaten to kill her family. You threaten to beat her. You cuss her out. You put her private business out there. You told the world that she was a drug addict and she was molested as a kid. You told the world that her sister was a stripper. I mean, you told the world that her mom slapped the plate out of her hand or did all type. You told the world that her husband did this and that and this. Hey. That's not love. That's not love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. That's not love, what you're talking about. No matter what she ever does to me or did to me, I still love her. She is not to blame. You are to blame. What do you mean what she's ever done to you? You have done all the negative things to her. And if she did do anything negative to you, it was in retaliation from the stuff that you did to her. So how dare you? You see what I'm saying? Psychiatrists, psychology students, what is this where he tries to make it seem like, is that projection or something? Tries to make it seem like he's the victim. Is that a victim mentality? Can't help who you love, man. You need to get some help. And also, psychi psychology students, why is it when he plays videos or somebody calls into his bootleg radio show that's not really a radio show because he doesn't have any professional equipment? What... Why does he not let us hear their voice? Is that a form of narcissism or something where he only wants to be heard? He wants to control, right? He has control issues as well. Like he'll bait us to call in or bait us to comment in the chat, but then he'll block us immediately if we don't kiss his A or agree with the terroristic threats that he's spewing. What do you call that, huh? Huh? Look, we can't hear it. We can't hear what that person is saying. Well, uh, so they're showing you real concrete proof. But y'all want us to make bullshit content like all you clowns when we're dissing the fuck. You are using other people's content. You're not creative and you don't have the wherewithal or the mental capacity to create your own content of substance. You've been on YouTube, what, 10, 11 years? And all you do is call crap all day. If it wasn't for us getting on you, you would have absolutely nothing to talk about. You could never go Google something or do a presentation and teach us anything because you're illiterate. And you're crazy. Look out of you and making fun of you. See what I'm saying? We literally talk crap about him and make fun of him because he's a racist idiot. But yet he wants to say that he only makes fun of us. No, sir. We've been laughing at you. Well, I know I've been laughing at you for well over seven years. The Haters Inc. has been laughing at you for well over a year now. Nobody ever made fun of me flashing money, bitch. You can't make fun of me flashing my money because I flash real money. Every you have $2,000 in the bank. Did you not hear Frost say that she has over a half a million in the bank, sir? And what, Saban and all of them have literally showed you their bank accounts before? Lost? I think he showed you his bank. Like, freaking Flock has showed you the Porsche she just got and probably his bank account as well. You can't show it. And then when you do show it, you don't even have a regular bank, dude. You have a prepaid freaking net spend or a green dot card. You're a loser. You can't keep a bank open for more than three months or something. Or you're always overdraft or doing something stupid with your money. <laughs> like you're a failure in every single area of your life. I have literally seen nobody who it seems like they're allergic to success. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're like a poser and a pretender. Like you try to act like you're from New York. You try to talk with an accent. Sometimes you say talk and then other time you say talk. You're not consistent with anything, not even your fake accent. We made fun of people when we flashed money in the first place. That's why I did it. I told you that. We're making fun of you. You flash wands. Any waiter making $2.50 an hour from Texas can flash that. Why are you trying to repeat everything I say back to me? I really hope somebody blows your fucking brains out. I seriously do. From the bottom of my heart, I would fucking be so fucking happy. I would celebrate. I'd pop a bottle of Chris and Mo, nigga. 
Seriously. Like, I've never seen someone try to do that, bro, and every day and act like that was cute. That's insane, bro. I'm glad we put that shit behind us. Completely. And trust me, you can't rear your ugly head, bitch. You're going to have to see me face to face. Not with your people either, just me and you. You know what I mean? We'll see how you talk when you in front of me. Little fuck asshole. Slap the shit out of you and strangle you to death. Guarantee it. Clown. Always whining about threat this and threat that and he this and he violent and he that blah 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 and I'm a collar cop and I'm a snitch and blah 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 bitch shut the fuck up already nigga I'll be whatever the fuck I want you know what I mean you ever gonna press charges or take me to court no so shut the fuck up ah uh, damn bro you're trying to bother a motherfucker every day you don't think that illegal bitch I'm justified in killing you I can do whatever I want with your bitch ass and I'll say whatever the fuck I want you know what I mean make me stop bitch. You ain't never gonna fucking shut me up. Say what I want. Do what I want. With all you bitches. Fuck the punk ass police. How about them apples? But you want to call the police and you call the precinct on Frost and try to tell them that somebody's making fun of you online with all the stuff that they got going on in New York. With New York being the number one place for COVID freaking diagnosis. Like you're going to call because somebody's making fun of you when you started it. Like it makes no sense, but you're going to cry to police, but then say F the police. This is the mind frame that we're working with y'all F the police, but I'm going to cry and call them. Had enough of you trying to pretend and carry. Also that's called premeditation. You stupid idiot premeditated murder when you say i am justified for what i'm doing so when you're already making plans to do something that's called premeditation premeditated murder you stupid idiot oh, now you can suck my dick therefore it's not justified it's never getting on this fucking show I promise you ever it's not a show you're copying other people's content without putting in no effort whatsoever. And you also do not allow people to call in unless they agree with you. And even if they agree with you, you do not let us hear their voice. That is not a show, Joe, you stupid hoe. Look at him. Like, you should know by now, dude, if you've been doing this over 10 years, you need a professional microphone because all that moving around is not comfortable to the subscriber. The little subscribers that you do have, the 78, that hurts our ears when you constantly rub your headphone microphones. Those were meant for phone calls, Joey. For phone calls, not radio shows. All right? Look at this shit. And his dumb aide thinks that we can actually understand what we can hear what he's listening to. And you're going to tell us to agree with you? We don't even know what Dr. Umar Johnson is actually saying because you won't allow us to hear it. Or your little dumb aide just can't afford equipment. This is what you people don't seem to understand, bro. You people. You focused on all the irrelevant shit that don't exist. You focused Dude, on... Dude, you have made shows about Takashi 6 9 and all this other irrelevant stuff. Just hating on people. I've noticed that you want to say everybody that's made it in the rap industry are, hate, are, are, are freaking Freemasons and they sold their soul to the devil. No, they're just successful and they have a work ethic that you don't have. It's funny how you also, in the second breath, say, I'll collaborate with any of these people. I'll do songs. I want a record deal. But then we'll turn around in the next breath and say, they're all Freemasons. They're all Illuminati. They're Illuminati and Freemasons, but you want to do songs with them. And you want to be signed to them. You see how he doesn't make sense, psychology students? He doesn't make sense. Trying to get all these freaking... (laughs) <laughs> notifications off the screen he doesn't make sense nothing he says it's a it's literally a contradiction oh my god i'm not trying to click that sitting there trying to front and pretend because that's all you got i mean while we got real shit happening and going on out here like real shit that actually matters like 
Like the real people are worried about assets. And you're worried about motherfucking putting fucking Trump change on camera. He was still triggered. I think it was Stanley. I think it was Stanley from Haters Inc. that came on his show the other night. Or last night and flashed some cash or something. I think he clicked the StreamYard link or something like that. Why are you so bothered about his money? Evidently, it bothers you because you've been talking about it for over 12 hours since he did it. Jeez. You're just mad because you... I think you did try to flash cash, as a matter of fact. And, and it was just... It was petty. They don't even keep cash on me and this is what I can flash. That's the same amount of money that you used to flash in the past, boy bother the real motherfucker that you wish you could be and then trying to play it off every day with your little click of fags like you're cool and we're not and like you're making fun of us like no bro that's not how it works sorry bro sorry but if we get the whole whole world in here right now the whole world gonna laugh at your bitch ass if we get anyone from the street in here right now they gonna laugh at your you bitch are ass. not from the street so you know like bro, you do not own any assets any homes or land so you know I ain't never cared. You called all the cars that you owned luxury vehicles when they were Pontiacs and Fords and Chevys. Last time I checked, those are not luxurious vehicles. They were also on bricks and they didn't run and half of them didn't even have engines. <laughs> I heard about people just intentionally being against me. That's everywhere. But that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to portray like. I hate reality. This is your only message. I hate reality. I can't deal with it. So everything I do, I'm going to act like reality is the opposite. Uh, Just because you say something doesn't make it true, Joey. I could say right now that I'm the queen of England doesn't make it a fact. So when you say you proved us wrong by not proving anything, just because you said what we said wasn't true, when we can turn around and prove everything you say to be lies easily, you will still run with the lie. Yeah, psychiatrist, what is that called? If you can literally, I'm talking because I'm making this video for the psychiatrist, y'all. I'm so serious. If you can literally, like literally saying the sky is blue. No, it's not. That's what Tyree would say. No, it's not. When you can prove it right there. Look, look, the sky is blue. No, it's not. That's the type of, that's the type of stuff he does. The house is not in your name. Yes, it is. And then we look it up in public information that's in his mom's name. No, it's my house. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, I put it in her name. Okay, but then when we go and prove that it was never in his name to put in her name, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, you guys, I have a mansion. Um, a mansion is 8,000 square feet or more. Oh, uh, uh, I have a mansion. You're just jealous of my success. I am telling you that a mansion is 8,000 square feet or more because that's what the world says. That's what they classify as a mansion. That is a fact. And he'll come through and say that 1,300 square foot home that belongs to his mom is a mansion. I have a mansion next to Mexico. You can literally, you could, a black person could be standing in front of you and you say, that person is black. No, they're not. They're Hispanic. And this person says, no, I'm black. You're Hispanic. Tyree thinks also if you deny something that makes it not true, like his child, his daughter, he wants to deny the fact that he has a daughter because he doesn't want her to exist and said he wished she would die along with his baby mother. So since he never acknowledges her, in his mind, that makes her not exist. Psychiatrist, what do you call that? And she better go get yourself some mental health and pills, nigga. And those who always say, you need mental help, you're not in your right mind. He's projecting because he knows that he needs mental help and he's not in his right mind. And he needs to be on some pills in a padded room. Real talk, man. You need medication like a motherfucker. Like, you literally need tranquilizers. Just shit that bitch up with some fucking tranquilizers already. I'm getting tired of you. His sister had him freaking committed before. Like, his sister knows what's up. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. You think you're going to do that shit every day? Fuck out of here. You want to make a fucking bet, bitch? I guarantee you I'm so on top of you. You see how he can't stay on subject? He's supposed to be talking about COVID-19. In this whole darn video, we seven minutes in, he's rambling about either Ashley, L. Frost, or the rest of us. On this shit, you and then half the time, he'll be talking about us, but, but not mention our name. And we only know he's talking about us because he said these things directly to us before. Never gonna fucking speak here, bitch. You know what I mean? It wasn't cute the first time. Think you're gonna keep doing it? Fuck out of here! You think you know? we don't know where you are when you disappear for weeks at a time? You're either running from us, 
or you're homeless and don't want to show us you broadcasting live from under the bridge, you bastard. You know that's why they make block buttons, right? You know that's why they have filters for shit to keep people like you out of it, right? Yeah, for punk-a people like you who can't handle words, like Loss always reminds you. You can't handle words, so how can you handle these two fists? <laughs> Fucking stupid bitch. You lost, bro. What did you ever do with me or to me? Nothing. Shut the fuck up. We got you fired from multiple jobs. We got you put out of multiple establishments. What else? Ashley's not yours to this day because we helped her get away from you. Do you need anything else for us to mention? And then we will prove that on camera that these things happen and you'll still deny it. You know, like when Tone came to Austin to see you, you want to deny that he wasn't in Austin, but he was on video on 6th Street looking for you? Yeah. Denial is not just a river, you idiot. All you do is keep talking. Shut your bitch ass up. Guarantee also, be. cussing, cursing, profanity, whatever you want to call it, doesn't make you hard or tough, by the way. You get in front of me, dog. You know Nobody I mean? can ever get in front of you because you're a professional runner. All you do is sit there and go, hey, man, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not mad. I'm fucking irritated. I'm tired of you. You're not mad, but you went live the other day for nine hours straight on one video talking crap. Get the fuck off my shit. You ain't never getting on here. Who wouldn't be irritated, nigga? You keep fucking with someone. Leave them alone. Nobody's yep. bothering you. You're online spewing hate. That's against the, the freaking community guidelines of YouTube. The terms of service. You gotta go, ho. I don't have the heart to see him. Leave him alone. That's grown shit. We do have the heart to see you every time we try to meet up. We even tried to pay you to meet up with us before and put it in the escrow account so you wouldn't be scared that you wouldn't get your money and you still deny it because you're a pussy. Any grown person understands that, bro. Fuck out of here, nigga. Every, every day a threat. Every day, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And I'm a powerless bitch. I'm going to repeat back every single thing that you've ever said. I'm going to try to repeat back to you and pretend like you're not where I got it from. That's how unimaginative I am. I'm going to look at my camera screen, mad as hell, every day. Jesus fucking Christ, bitch. You don't think maybe... You're going to hell. Blasphemy is a sin that's not forgiven. It's already over with. You don't think fucking over 5G is enough money to fucking put anything you told? You haven't gotten to 5G's in what? A year and a half, two years, three years? You've never gotten to that amount by just working on your own, son. That's another way that I can prove that. Well, we can prove it from the public record of your inheritance. You were given everything that you've ever acquired. On your own, you squander money so horribly that you've never been able to even get to three G's, $3,000. You never have ever been able to get it because your stupid A won't get an apartment or somewhere to live. You rather pay for shitty motels. It doesn't realize that you're wasting all your money, you stupid idiot. But whatever, you think you're so smart. Oh, and you're not racist, but why is it that when white people come after you, they're not niggers, but every time I and other black people come after you, the first thing you say is nigger? Can you explain that to me? But you're not racist. You know how like you assumed I was on Section 8, but it's public record that I'm not? But you say you're not racist, but Section 8 is commonly associated with minorities, even though that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you're not racist. What about the rest? Is you fucking blind, deaf, dumb, stupid, and pulling the hell and killer, bitch? But you don't understand why you say things and how people come after you. But making fun of Helen Keller is very offensive. This is what I mean. They really so stupid. They really think they can fuck with me. They really think that, like if we don't give up, maybe we could still still stop him. Are you fucking? We always stop you. You just come back, like I said, like a herpes flare up. And then we beat you down like one of those little freaking gopher looking things at Chuck E. Cheese. You pop up, we beat you down. You pop up, we beat you down. It's never going to stop, Ty Ty, a.k.a. Joey.